So someone emailed me asking how they can get two MR sequences to scroll together in PowerPoint. So I've done that here and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna delete all this and we will start over. So I'm gonna come into my area where I've got the different sequences I need and I've already narrowed this stack down to just a few slices. I'm gonna select all and drag them on. I'm gonna to click to unselect and I'm gonna to drag to select them so I can select all of the images in the stack, bulk resize them, move them where I want. We're gonna come up to animations and tell them to appear. And we wanna come into our animation pane and have them appear on click so that they will appear sequentially. Now we can do the same thing for our next series. So we're just gonna go into our uh, T1 weighted sequence. We're gonna drag that on. Okay, unclick, select all, drag to bulk resize, make sure they're matching in size. And we're gonna come up here to animations appear. And now you'll notice uh, they're appearing after these ones. So what we need to do is take picture 88, which is the start of this sequence and move it up here next to picture 76 and tell that to start with previous. And now as I drag each one of these up, they will automatically start with previous. And now we've got our two sequences scrolling together. So that is how you do it. Two problems you might encounter is that when you import these, they might import like this, staggered. So you can drag to select all, come over to picture format, go align center, align middle, and now they are all snapped together. The other problem you might encounter, uh, which is kind of annoying to fix, is that when you import the two sequences, they may not have the same matched slices in the right order. Um, and I'm not really sure why that happens, but it does happen to me sometimes. So the way you fix that is you're gonna come over to the home tab and you're gonna come down here to your selection pane. Now I've already undocked this. Usually it'll undock here. So you can just drag the top here and then drag it over to undock it. And this is where you can rename these pictures. So what you're going to want to do is say these two are the same slice. So I'm going to say picture 86 is going to be, uh, we'll say series one, image one. And then we'll say this one is series two, image one. Okay. And then we know that the, those two go together. Okay. And so we'll move these up here and then we would do the same thing for here. So this is series one, image two. And this is series two, image two. Okay, and that then you can go through and uh, make sure that they are going in the matched order that you need them to. Um, so that is a little bit tedious and time consuming, but that's the way to fix it. You can come up with better, whatever naming convention you want. Um, might be easier just to call them 1A, 1B or something like that. Uh, whatever makes sense to you. So hopefully that helps and happy PowerPointing.